What is up, guys, and welcome to episode two of Codcast. And uh, yeah, it's just the usual three: me, NSXP, and Krypton today. Hey guys, Hello. what's going on? I'm Krypton, and I am in this XP. Uh, but I kind of want to start it off with uh, Tarps wanted to say something about sports. All right, yeah. So recently, the Super Bowl happened, and obviously, it gets a lot of views all around the world. And I just want to ask um, on NSXP and Krypton's. Uh, opinions on sport in America and then elsewhere. So, uh, I, I, I'll give you my opinion on the Super Bowl first. So, I did a commentary about this the other day, and um, I basically think that the Super Bowl was the most boring thing I've ever seen in my life. And um, it's like so there's so many adverts in between, and it's so like it's so interrupted that I just I just don't see it as a good sport. I just want to see what you you thought you took guys' opinion on that. Well, I'll I'll go last since I'm clearly gonna like it because I'm American, <laughs> but I'll let Krypton go first because I kind of wanna. Um. Well, I'm a. And, I'm a... And, hold on. And yeah, yeah. Don't. I know you like. I know what you're about to say, but don't look at it at the fact that your team that you like lost. Just look at it in the fact that like the Super Bowl in general. Oh, I know. But like, I was gonna say I'm a hockey fan, like mainly, and like, if you look at how fast paced like a hockey game goes, for example, like. Let's say the game goes for a minute and they'll blow the whistle because of an offside or a goal scored. They'll stop it for like 10, 15 seconds and they'll get the play going. In football, it's like, yeah, we'll take our time. We'll wait like 45 seconds a minute and then we'll get the next play going. And sometimes yeah. it, like the sport can be boring to watch. Like it's fun. Like um, the reason why I enjoy watching it sometimes is because of the like how tense the sport gets, not because of all the action. Like, it's cool to watch when it's going on, but there's not continuous action, and I don't know. It's it's a good sport. It's just, I see where Tarps is coming from when he says it's boring because he doesn't watch it very much. Now, let, let, me, let me just say something. Because I come from England, like, the sports in England are a lot more flowing because um, there's not there's no interruptions. There's just a half time in most of the sports that we do. So that's that's why I see it as a really slow-paced game. I mean, I watch I watch ice hockey. I know you two know that I watch ice hockey, and I like that because it's really fast paced as well. And then like football or soccer in England, well, that's what you call it, soccer. Um, it's just really fast flow, and there's no interruptions. It's just a straight 45 minutes each way uh, in between the half time. So, I find soccer the most boring sport. No, no. What what, what soccer do you watch though? Um, I don't know. Do whatever is on like ESPN. We don't. <laughs> yeah, well, if you actually watch the good quality. Well, like, I've watched, like, Manchester like United and, and, like, teams. like, what, who, I'm trying to think, like, Arsenal, is that a team? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I've seen, like, them playing in each other, and, like, like it's cool, but I, I just don't, I can't sit there and watch all 90 minutes of that. No, in, in like, the re- really big games, the atmosphere is, like, it's amazing. And it's, yeah, it's, it's, two, it's different cultures, that's why I wanted to bring this topic up, it's quite interesting just to hear, like, the different... I mean, I'll give my opinion, since uh, I'm yeah. American... And quite frankly, football is uh, the biggest sport in America. Um, I I personally am a baseball fan. Uh, that's what I'm like. That's my favorite sport to watch. Um, I used to play it. I played it a lot. Um, uh, so like basically, football and baseball like they're like baseball is like a seven or eight month sport, and then football is like a three or four or five or something. It's and nice. like. Five and football takes like this portion. Like football is during break or the baseball off season, and the baseball is during the football. So football is the most entertaining to watch in that off season. But I've I've really started to like it a lot more recently. Um, so I mean I'm a Colts fan, and they did terrible this year. But um, <laughs> yeah, they did yeah they did pretty bad. But I mean there's there's a good what, reason. What they go why again? They Just refresh my memory. Uh, two and fourteen. Yeah. <laughs> um, but wow. he, I thought it was he lost in the Super Bowl. Mm. I, I mean, like I personally, like it may sound weird, but I would rather my team uh, not make it to the playoffs and lose in the Super Bowl because the Colts actually made it into the Super Bowl two years ago, and they were playing against the Saints. And um, you know, I was all pumped up. I was like, "Cool, we're about to win," and you know, we lost. And I was like, "God damn it." Like it's the worst feeling in the world losing it uh, against. In the Josh Bowl. lost like but, 80k subs. 
Uh, that was probably the most random thing <laughs> in the middle of my speech. <laughs> sorry, um, buddy, but yeah, yeah. basically, basically um, I find football to be very entertaining to watch. Um, I, I don't find it slow paced at all. I actually find it really fast paced. If you if you if you pay attention to like the um, the commercials, like they're only like two or three commercials per thing, and like all of them are under a minute oh. long. Well, come on, come on! It's a sixty-minute game, and it lasts about four hours. Yeah, but that's because you know, time, like, like it may not seem like it, and I know soccer and hockey have amazing like athletes, but football has some of the best athletes in the world. And all right, like that, the like, oh man. The defensive lineups, man, like the people who just sit there and like push against each other, they're just a bunch of fat people. <laughs> the the defense is the strong. Those people are a lot stronger than you think. No, they're, they are, no, they're strong. They are but some of the fat. strongest people, but no, they're they're they look fat, but they are some of the strongest people in the world. You'd no. be amazed. You know how much they bench. Like defensive pounds. line, like like defensive linemen bench between four and five hundred pounds without a problem, and that's repping. They they are straight athletes. They're not fat. I mean, like they they're clearly big, but they're they're a lot more muscle than they appear. They're not um like endurancely in shape. That makes yes, no they sense at all. But yes, they are. You can't well, play football and you can't play professional football and not be in shape. It's not possible. Yes, it is. It's really? Not. No, it's not. You can be a quarterback and not be in shape. You don't run at all. You don't just because they don't run a lot during a game doesn't mean they're not in shape and they don't. Oh, they run are, at all. but you could be if you just had a good arm. You but could. yeah, but that doesn't happen because as much as like they have to like say they throw a sixty-yard pass, they have to run up. All right, here put let's put it in a situation. Uh, they they throw or there's five seconds or not five that that's unrealistic. Uh, let's say thirty seconds left in the game, and they have no timeouts left, so they have to throw the play. And if they don't get out of bounds, the stop the clock won't stop. So they have to run up the field to get to the ball. Say they're on the ten yard line on the opposite side, like they're going ninety yards up the field, and he throws a let's say a fifty yard pass. They have thirty seconds left, so that time is clicking. So let's say it probably took like ten seconds for the football. Uh, for the play to happen, and then you have to have your entire offense haul ass up to where that football is and get the playoff in 20 seconds. They're not going to have a quarterback who's not or an, like a team in general that can't do that. You, you're just underestimating how athletic they are just because you don't see it on a football field. Well, anyway, anyway I, I wasn't. I'm not doubting that they're enjoying. I'm just saying that compared to sports in in England. I mean, I mean, I, I honestly admire like soccer players, like j- like professional. That is, I mean, yeah. I'm, I mean, cause just as much as much endurance as they have, just blows my mind. It's 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 pretty similar with hockey. I mean, uh, ice skating takes some effort. Like it it's yeah. hard. Like it hurts. Like your calves are burning like a bitch after a while. And same with uh, soccer players. They they sprint up and down. Uh, what is it like a hundred and twenty right, no, yards? No. I want to yeah. make a comment. I hate when basketball players say that it's like a rough sport. <laughs> it's a hard sport. Oh yeah, I play basketball all the time. I play basketball every day. Yeah, I mean, like it's like I, I've never heard. I've honestly never heard a basketball player say it's a rough sport where I come from. But to be good, like LeBron James or Kobe Bryant or Dwayne Wade. To be that good, you have to like it's it's amazing. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm not. I'm not. They make I, it. They make it look so easy. I'm not. I'm not saying you're saying anything bad. I'm just saying they make it look so easy. I really that, like the sport. It's a fun sport to play. I mean, it's fun to play, but I don't personally. I mean, I watch the playoffs, but I don't personally like watch it all the time. Uh, be- before before we close this topic, I just want to say like you can kind of tell what sports in it, like what American sports are the better ones. Well, I mean, like, like worldwide, I, because no, wait, wait, because American football and baseball aren't really played in any more, any other countries. Ice hockey's okay, played. Here, ice hockey's me, played in a lot of countries, and basketball's played in a lot of countries. Well, let me just make a statement. All right, so I'm I'm American. All right, the That's probably like the, the top two, time you said that. The top two. <laughs> well, I know I'm just being specific though, because it's going on your channel, and a lot of them might not know me. But I like I was born into. Uh, a culture that uh, I mean, our two, our top two sports are probably, I'd say, baseball and football. And football, of course, being the top. 
and you know you're kind of born into loving those sports. Tarps is from England. Their top sport is clearly uh, soccer, and that's his favorite sport. And then Krypton's from Canada, and they're a lot of Canada's based around hockey, and he loves hockey. Isn't that your favorite sport? Yeah. Yeah. So it's it's all built around. But I'd probably born. like basketball more if I played it. To be honest. I mean, like like if like if you wonder why there's so many Asian basketball, it's because they fucking play basketball like crazy in Asia. Especially China. Yeah, bas- basketball. Basketball's, love- a, basketball's a very it's a worldwide sport. I mean, you put yeah, that a lot. It, it, it gets really played. Good. It gets played in England a lot as well. Yeah. And uh, hockey's uh, quite popular as well. And you don't think the only place many. hockey isn't played. No, the- they, no, they do. No, they do play. They do. Play I know, in. but it's not very like widely. Played. No, it, yeah, it's hard to get into the NHL if you're you from England. You see a lot of um. You see a lot of Italians that play. Uh, God damn it! What sport was I gonna say? Oh, basketball. You see a lot of Italians, but you never, you never really see any like Englishmen or, uh, you know, like Germans or anything. But yeah. I've seen a bunch of Italians. Yeah, bas- basketball is quite like in in high school. Uh, bas- we used to play basketball quite a lot. That's what I do. Like every day at lunch, just play ball. Yeah, but like I'm I'm from the UK and um I anyway 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 we need to get off this i want to uh-huh. there's this game came out on the xbox ps3 and the pc called um arkham city imposters i want to get it so bad it looks so cool i saw um onslaught do a review of it it looks really really interesting ben yeah it did look pretty cool i, I want to get ufc now i really want to get uh, do you <laughs> yeah. yeah that's actually that comes out tuesday doesn't it i'm not sure but um my... what makes you want to get it so bad now uh, I don't know. I just watch UFC, and I watched it the other day. And it just uh, made UFC watch. is so fun yeah, to watch. Yeah, UFC is so good. It's so fun to watch. It's I, really entertaining. I can't sit down and watch UFC. Uh, how? How can you not sit how, down and Yeah, watch? That, that's one of the most entertaining sports I love. I love uh, seeing the highlights. I love hearing about the fights. I just cannot sit down and watch a UFC event. The, right. the best part is not knowing when when the end is going to come. Like that's yeah. the best part, because you know, like if you if you look away for one second, the dude could get knocked out and you'd miss it. So like it's just kind of you, you keep your eyes on it because you want to you want to see the ending. And if you miss it, you'd be mad. It's the, it's yeah. the best. Fight. It's the best fighting sport by a long way. I mean, it's it's so much. Oh yeah. It's so much yeah. better than boxing. Oh yeah, Bo- what, boxing's what? boxing's still big, but yeah, boxing definitely big. took Bo- over. Boxing is quite big over here in England, but yeah, I, I boxing is nothing in Canada. Boxing is nothing in Canada. It's quite big in America, isn't it, Ben? Uh, it, there's, there's a lot of there's know, a lot like of, there, there's a few a studs like like yeah. uh, Floyd Mayweather, yeah, you know, and Manny Pacquiao, but other other than that, it's really not too huge. Mm-hmm. I mean, but when when one of those two are fighting or they're fighting each other, it's a big deal. Yeah. And of course, you know there was Mike Tyson back in the day, <laughs> you know that kind of stuff. But and uh, what was his face? Um, I'm trying to think of his name, Muhammad Muhammad Ali. Yeah, I mean of course, yeah, I mean Muhammad Ali, um, uh, George Foreman. But I tried to switch this to gaming now. and it didn't work. <laughs> you guys just keep going on about sports. You didn't say anything about games. Yes, I did. What? That Batman, Arsham, Arkham City uh, imposters. And they went onto the UFC and they went back onto sports. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! All right, all right. Let's change. Let's change. Go on. Let's say about um, Batman, whatever it is. Um, it's like I don't know. It's like a first-person shooter game, but it's like really like futuristic. I want to say, and like you have like grappling hooks and just like a bunch of really different things. Like you get two primary weapons. And everything about it... Oh, crap, someone's calling me. Everything about it just seems fun to me and interesting. I, I've, heard, I've heard them Batman games are, like, really good, but I've never played It's them. not made by people that normally make Batman games, though. Oh, okay. I've heard that they're good games anyway, but I've never played Yeah, it, it's, like, a, it's really animated-looking. Like, it's not... It, it. They didn't make it trying to make it look realistic. It's really animated. You know, it kind of reminds me of comics back in the day. Yeah, it, but... But something about it just really catches my eye and makes me want to buy it. But I just changed my name, so I don't have the points right now. Well, why don't you go ahead and explain that? Yeah. <laughs> since you brought it up. Oh, well. Can you talk I... about it like 4,000 times a day? 
Well, um, yesterday, I hit a clip, and it's a quad headshot feed. It's going to my oh, mother's you said that. You should have you just said a really good clip, because now you kind of spoiled it. Oh, no, I don't care. I don't, I don't give a crap. They, they. Okay. Anyway, I got in a clan called Tempo. Um, it's raise the Tempo. They have 5,000 subscribers. Um, they have a mission of a partnership, I want to say. And they're on a clan war, which is basically like all the best clans uh, go against each other. And the subscribers vote on it. And, um, and who, uh, who's in that war? Uh, right now, my team's not in it, but they've been in it twice and uh here i'll tell you i think they they lost one and tied one but they but but they went about against good teams both times like this thing has a ranking system and it, it goes by points it doesn't go by how good you are but tempo's in sixth and that just that's probably just because they have uh done more uh episodes but they're in sixth out of t 28 but like who are in front of them um, Third Eye Snipers, some clan called WD, Focus, TS, Raw. And, uh, Third Eye Snipers, Raw, and Focus so are all... nobody I've ever heard of. <laughs> no, they all have, like, 30k subs, and TES has... I, wanna say I mean, that. like, yeah, I, I, I don't do that stuff, so I, I just know the basics. Yeah, Optic sure. and FaZe don't do this kind of stuff, just because they don't want to be beaten, and then everybody be like, oh, and question how good they are. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like just like I'm not, I'm not really I don't I'm not really into all the sniping aspects of it. Though. I know it's because you're a terrible person. Was that was <laughs> was it a good move by Pomage going to phase? Oh yeah, definitely. I don't know. It just seems like <coughs> the optic name is more infamous. Here, one sec. Mom, don't answer. Don't answer. <laughs> My dad. <laughs> All right, I'm back. All right, should we talk about a bit of Call of Duty? Uh, yeah, sure, go ahead, bud. Well, this is one topic I want to talk about, is um, the maps yeah, in mom. Call of Duty. Krypton, mute your mic if you're going to talk to your mom, please. Um, Go ahead, Tarps. All right, Ben. All right, we'll talk, we'll talk about the maps a little bit, because um, people like Woody's Game Time always said that Infinite World have had better maps, and like they're a lot more colourful and bright and stuff like that. Yeah, they definitely. But like, modern, took modern, that. War, modern Warfare but Three, the maps are so dull. Can I make one statement though? Um, yeah, yeah. Like Infinity Ward really didn't have much control over the maps. I don't think. I think they just uh, helped with like the graphics kind of thing, like aspect of it. But I think the maps were made by Sledgehammer. Oh. Well, carrying on like they they see Modern Warfare Two as the uh, game before Modern Warfare Three, obviously, because they didn't take anything from Black Ops. Yeah. Um, I mean, they um, basically played it like MW yeah. or MW two came out last yeah. year. Yeah, exactly. Um, but the maps were actually good looking. That was one of the better aspects of Modern Warfare two. Oh yeah. Besides all the bull crap, the maps were actually pretty. Good. Uh, they were my favorite maps ever. Yeah, um, like maps like Terminal like, were just so good to look at. And stuff. Yeah, yeah. But on on Modern Warfare three, like I just I just think they're terrible, the terrible maps. I mean, I really don't oh, have a cool. favorite map on MW3. To be no, I don't like any of the maps. <laughs> yeah, I just like I like I don't see one that I just freak out and click on every time. Yeah. I mean, like I, I would like Dome if they fix spawns. Oh, the spawns are terrible. Did you see that yeah. video uploaded the other day where I yeah, spawned I on the guy? <laughs> yep. That was so bad. Yeah, the, the spawns just are terrible. Yeah, I don't know what they're planning on doing with that, but it's terrible. This there's a lot of, like there's no real game breaker in Modern Warfare 3, but there's a lot of little things that just make it really bad. Yeah. The spawns are like compensation. Um what well, oh, there's another thing we could talk about. What do you what do you think about Cod Elite? Uh, it's don't, really it's not worth it's not worth the money. Yeah. And that's another thing they took from Black Ops that now they're making people pay for. I, like the their map like like I'm I'm very happy I didn't get Cod Elite because yeah. I don't even like their normal maps. I don't wanna I don't wanna get their D L C that yeah. they throw together. I heard the yeah. DLC really blows. Yeah. But and the, the main reason I would have bought Cod Elite was I, I don't really care about the maps. I don't have even played them anyway. But like the stats, that's the main. Like that's the main. Yeah, thing that's I what I want. I want that. But, and they but all 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 that is is the combat record from Black Ops. Why? Well, right. I know for sure. Even though uh, I'm not even sure if 
uh, Treyarch will put the zombies thing like they did for Black Ops, where they put like the four like classic. Even if they don't do that for the new Call of Duty coming out, I'm still gonna get their hardened edition just because you know I learned my lesson from their last one where they like put something that I actually really wanted in it. Well, I think yeah, I think you'll get your money's worth from Treyarch. Yeah, they they'll give you something. Infinity War, they charge you forty pound. Oh, I just hope they don't they don't go after Treyarch because they're just like oh well Treyarch made all this money with COD Elite. Why don't we do the same thing? Why is it like sixty dollars for cutting? Yeah, and there's a lot of people that bought that. Yeah, I was I was gonna buy it, but I'm so glad. Uh, yeah, I never even money. thought about it. I don't know. I definitely think Treyarch's the better company. Yeah, like you, and you pay, the people who paid that extra sixty dollars and then they're not even supporting the game, what they should be anyway. So yeah, I know, right? Like, but at least they got Drop Zone back, which I really really like. Why did they take it out? Um, because they they were only putting one community playlist in at a time, oh. and um, they we complained about it enough, and they put it back for us, which is awesome. Yeah, but there's a lot of things that they should do, as well. Like, but when they before the game came out, they they like they promised that they're going to support the game like really well. I know. Well, I mean, I'm 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 not gonna I'm not gonna lie. They are supporting it, but they're not doing enough. Yeah, they're not. Yeah, they're not doing the main. They're thing. not trying hard enough. Yeah. I mean, you got they're they're doing more than they used to. That's right. Yeah, I bet. Like, I don't know, but the spawns, of... like, bro, you can fix the spawns. It's not that hard. Like, especially when you spawn with the with the same guy and you're sitting there and he spawns, you spawn at the same time and just because I run first, he shoots me in the back. That's bullshit. Well, well within Infinity World, probably because because they supported Modern Warfare Two so little, they probably think that they're supporting the Modern Warfare Three amazingly well. But compared to Black Ops, it's just. Hey. Treyarch is by far the better company. The only thing Treyarch does is they make an ugly game, like, and by ugly I mean it looks not very good, and they just haven't quite found that sweet spot between, um, like, balanced and fast-paced. Like, I mean, I'm looking forward to their next one because their uh, their like, their hop between World at War and Black Ops was like so crazy that I was yeah. like, wow. Like, I didn't know what to expect for Black Ops. When I saw what they did, I was like, wow, that's actually, that kind of blew my mind. So I'm looking forward to see what they can do with the next one, and maybe they can put Treyarch or Infinity War to shame. What, what I really like about Treyarch games is, like, the better players stand out a lot more than, I, like, in Modern Warfare 3, like, the good players don't stand out as much because you can get killed off so much stuff. Oh, yeah. But in, in Black Ops, you could just stand out so much. I, just, I love Black Ops, but it's amazing. I just like the aspect of Black Ops. I just didn't like the gameplay. I don't like the way it played. Yeah, I, I agree. I really like Black Ops, man. I they like... made it way, way too hard to kill people. Um, no. Definitely didn't do that. <laughs> they did. Mm. That's why everyone used the FAMAS, because it killed so fast. I, I love the AK-47. That thing worked fine for me. I'm just saying, it, it, it took a lot longer to kill in that game than it did... Like the only reason I like that is because you you actually have a chance to get away on MW3. You, like if you get if you get caught on MW3, you're you're dead. Like it's pretty rare unless they're using like a silencer, you're not gonna get away. <laughs> do you, do you, oh my god. <laughs> do you think that they should put stopping power back in the game? No, I just think they should do what yep. in, uh, Infin or Infinity War did, but I think they should just make it to where uh, your health regeneration is a lot faster. I because the, yeah, they they slowed yeah, the health yeah. regeneration so much. Oh yeah, the health regeneration it's five seconds now compared to like two and a yeah. half. Yeah, it was like two and a half. It was ridiculous. I I definitely think stopping power should be back in the game. No, I don't, because it just takes over the whatever perk slot it is. It's it makes it worthless. Exactly. That's why it should just be built in. That's why they need to put it in with Assassin or Ghost or whatever you want to call it. That's what they need to put it in with. I actually like Assassin. I don't like Ghost. I like Assassin. No, Assassin is a necessity on Modern Warfare 3 because oh, yeah. so, this, because of the support package, I hate the support yeah, remember package. Remember, Tarps, when I was getting that MOAB on, uh, what's the map, Downturn? Remember yeah. when I got that MOAB? I was sitting there. I had specialists the entire game, but I was like... Tarps, they have called in uh, like four <laughs> UAVs a minute. Like they were literally calling them in so much. They, they definitely should take. They should take support. I, I, I think yeah, they support's just, they went, overpowered. Yeah, there support should be nothing should be. that can kill in support. Nothing. 
if they're going to keep it where when you capture a flag, you get a point towards your kill streaks, UAV should not be three kill streak at all. Yeah, they do. The boundaries are too low, and support shouldn't I, be. I don't mind UAV at all. It's just support <laughs> is it's overpowered with the ball. No, I don't like UAVs. Are good. Like they're really good. It's just if you make them a higher kill streak, like three or five, um, or four or five. I mean, three is just so easy. The the lower the kill streak UAV is, then the more assassin you're gonna get, basically. Yeah. If if UAV was a five kill streak, then assassin would not be as prevalent as it is. I mean, oh. and there's no way you can prevent a kill uh, a support UAV. Like it's impossible. You can't like kill someone enough for them not to get four kills in a drop in a, or not drop zone, a domination game. I mean, yeah. they're gonna get it. It's just like a stealth bomber. They should uh, they should definitely take. Uh, I I don't understand how why there's a why there's a kill streak set where it's just a never ending kill streak. I just think it's stupid. Hey guys, let's keep it to um. Let's stop at forty five because I've gotta I've gotta go do some stuff. So um. Well, we got we gotta wait till fifty just because you know okay. we said right, yeah, five minutes fine. in. But All right, that's fine. anyway, um, are there any like big patches you've noticed from Infinity Ward? Anything big like that you've noticed? They no uh, no not at all. <laughs> Actually, exactly. yeah yeah the FMG nines just a little bit barely. No, that's no, still so the FMG nines. No no they're not terps. The just FMG barely. nines I think are perfect. They completely ruined the range on them, and the recoil on them is insane. Up close, they do what they do, they do what they're supposed to do: kill people. They lowered the fire rate, and the freaking spread on those things is huge now. Maybe it's the fact that Sony. I mean, those things with steady aim are really good, but like the, it's just like like when uh, I had like eight thousand kills in the games. Like when I had eight thousand kills in MW3, I had a thousand with the FMG nines. I mean, they had, like, the, like the first month of the game, those things barely had any recoil when they were akimbo. They oh, have no. a bunch now. You can't hold them down as much now. But oh, no, but no can, way. You can just hold the analog stick down a little bit. Just just slide it down when you're shooting them, and it won't even affect it. See, I can't. I, I don't know. I find them not as good at all. I, I think they're really good. I think they're too good. Yeah. So, uh, compared, to, compared to the other secondaries. Really? I'd, I'd much prefer it if it was just pistols. If Me too. I, th- I don't understand why. Because machine pistols, like, you can use them as primaries half the time. So. Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd prefer it just pistols. Yeah, I agree with that. I mean, pistols and a stinger. Stinger and javelin. That's all you need. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, I, I wouldn't mind if a stinger javelin was a perk. Like, mm. like it was in COD 4. Oh, yeah, well, you had RPGs, which took down helicopters. Well, I, honestly, I, I, Black Ops did a good job with the secondaries. Definitely. Well, the secondaries weren't good enough in Black Ops because everyone just ran um, stingers because the secondaries were pretty much worthless. No, man, the Magnum? Are you silly? Yeah, it, the Magnum is good, but... Yeah, for, I always use the Python. For, yeah, for, but for less, lesser skilled players, they just run stingers because... Yeah, I mean, I could see how that, that makes sense. But, I don't know. To me, Black Ops was the most, like, closest... Black Ops was the closest game to being really good out of any game. Yeah. No, Modern Warfare 2 was. All they had to do was fix it. It would have been the best Call of Duty. Yeah, to yeah I, I, I agree with that, but... I'd it was it, it. it wasn't no. <laughs> there's just so much. Oh, there's so much wrong with that game. I mean, yeah. You say you say what's wrong with it. If they fixed it, it would yeah. be the best. Yeah, there, yeah. There was so there was That's so much. That's the only way I can ever say is wrong with it is that yeah. they just had problems they could have easily fixed. Yeah. It's all stuff they could have easily fixed. Agreed. Like it, I, I just don't see why that was so big of a deal. Mhm. Oh no, I just think they were just being lazy, just milking the money because they knew they were yeah. making it anyway. It took the money and ran, didn't they? Oh, yeah, yeah, they knew they were going to make the money, and they, they made it on MW3. They made a lot of money. I mean, I, I don't know. But, guys, I really got to go, so can we wrap this up here? Uh, Yep, Tarps outro us, baby. All right, so this was episode two. It's a bit shorter than, than um, most episodes will be, but we'll be back uh, very soon with probably longer episodes. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, see you guys later. Peace. Later, guys.